Okay, so this is going to be a brief demonstration of how to use the Photo Split app to create multiple exposure images. So first we need to download Photo Split. It is only available at the moment for Apple, uh, which is a bit, a bit sad for the Android users. I do apologize for that. Uh, and I will keep looking for a viable alternative. Now the Photo Split app looks like this one here with the four squares and ps on it so we click on our app to launch it now when it comes in in default it takes us straight to this option uh, where we can do like multiple images in a grid if we go to the option in the top left hand corner we select multiple exposure we can then take images and layer them over each other the first thing we need to do is take an image so we touch on the screen and we press from camera so we take our first image so we compose and make images as we would normally. Now, to start to use the blend modes, we need to add a second image over this. So this can come from our camera, which is the first option at the bottom, our, film, our camera roll, which is the one that looks like multiple photos. Uh, I'm gonna take another one from the camera and to layer over a picture of the dunes. And just try and think now what you can see is where the original photograph is so you can place people where you want them in the image so you can place the elements of the first photograph where you want them in the second image so i've taken the second image now so we can see that i've moved the people that are on the image so they're actually sat above the grass so if we click on the image again we now have the edit option along the bottom up here if we go to edit this is where we can do blend modes so we can choose how the layers of photograph interact with each other and how the colors and light in each one interact so i'm going to choose scroll through them so a normal multiply screen overlay darken lighten color dodge color burn soft light hard light difference exclusion hue saturation color and luminosity now most of these will be fairly they'll be fairly self-explanatory and they'll, they'll tell us what kind of preference it makes on the different image blending and the actual so if we think about luminosity it's going to blend based on the luminosity if we think about sort of color dodge it's going to kind of pick colors uh, if we think about exclusion it's going to exclude certain areas from one or the other now there's a lot of trial and error involved and actually just having fun at being creative with this app so for this one i'm going to choose soft light because i think it pr produces a nice feel and places the elements of the image where i want i click done and now we can layer on another photograph so it's a simple job if we go back into camera again if we want to take it from our camera and we find a second or third or fourth we can keep doing this multiple times and place any number of images wherever we'd like them so in this instance, I'm going to do a much closer in of the dunes. Again, you can see the original image underneath, so you can think about where you place things. So we take the image and again, we repeat. We go into edit and we can change the blend modes and how again, the colors in our image interact and interface with each other. And again, there's a lot of creativity involved here. There are no rules when it comes to multiple exposure and multiple ICM. It's about creatively trying to create a feel or a look that you like or you're looking for. And this could change with mood, with purpose, and with any number of situations. So don't be bound by rules of what do you think other people think you should shoot but actually just go and make the photographs and the exposures and the multiple blends that you really like so i'm going to choose difference in this case it's quite quirky and maybe not something i use a lot but you know let's use it so our other option as well as using from the camera roll is to place an image from our photo stream and we click on the photographs we go to all photos and we can place any image we've made on our phone. So I'm going to choose this one of a texture because I think this will give us some really nice opportunity again to use the blend modes creatively. So we touch on it, we go to edit. And now we can play with the blend modes again just to make 
the way the top photograph interacts with the lower photographs more pleasing and more purposeful to what we're trying to create. One thing that you will note is that obviously, depending on how you use the images and what order you take your images in will very much affect the sort of final outcome in that sense. So stronger colours often are better placed at the bottom. And maybe our final image that we want to be the final kind of overriding sort of scene that create that creates with everything else as the blend below might want to be the last image we make because so i'm going to choose soft light in this instance i'm going to go back to camera again i'm going to take my final image so i framed the final image up go back into edit and again now we could choose the blend mode that places things where I want to place them. And a lot of the time, you'll find this either works fairly organically. So you will create something and you'll start on a journey, maybe with a little idea of where you're going, but actually by just seeing how two photographs interact with each other, you'll stumble across an aesthetic that you really like. As I say, there aren't any rules, so have fun. Explore, create, and play. That's the, the real fun of photo split. The other brilliant thing, because we can use photos, images from a, a camera roll, and not just taken directly from the camera, that any image that we've got on our iPhone becomes available to us. So here we can see we can bring images across from the computer, We can take images into a long exposure app and create ICM, intentional camera movement, and we can blend all different types of images together. So here we can see this is great fun. We can have real fun. And once we've created our final look, we've got some other options. We can put frames on, we can take away what we've done. We can use the two arrows to change the size of an image. We can even rotate it. Um, but in the top right hand corner, we've got the little square with the arrow. If we click this, it brings our set options up to save the image. It will render it large and we click save image. And this will place this image back into our camera roll. So now we can close photo split. We can go into our camera roll and we'll see that the final image has been created.